How good was it to have number 22 back there again? Yeah. Uh, it was a great feeling. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to know that we have our, uh, our stable back and, uh, and all, all accounted for. Uh, you know, I love blocking for Mark. It, you know, I love blocking for all our backs, but, uh, you know, Mark's a great player, and so it was great to have him back. Did he even exceed your expectations? I mean, 17 yards a carry. That's crazy. Uh, I've, I've learned not to put um, low expectations on Mark. You know, he, he never ceases to amaze you. Uh, you know, he comes out of, out of Michigan. N nobody really knows who he is and, and turns out to be an absolute stud. So uh, Mark's a guy you really never can, can uh, set expectations on because, you know, he'll always exceed him. And, uh, you know, it's just real special to have him back. And I'm looking forward to blogging for him the rest of the year. Arkansas has been getting a lot of love uh, in the preseason, you know, the, leading into this week. Uh, does, you, does that give you guys an edge at, at all? Uh, we try to come in every week the same, you know, uh, just uh, try to come in with a, the, uh, the mindset to dominate our, dominate our opponents. And I think that's our, our goal this week, as it is every week. But we know they're a great team, and, uh, you know, we are an SEC play now, and, you know, it's no secret that SEC is the best conference in America, so, you know, we have to step up our game a little bit. Did the juices get flowing a little bit more now that this is a SEC play? Um, I'd say yeah, definitely. Um, you know, this is uh, you know, this is what we, this is what you come to Alabama for. You know, to play big games on the road against Arkansas. You know, in hostile environments. So we're, we're really looking forward to it. Have you guys been tested by a defense yet? It seems like things are coming so easy for you guys. Is it easy or is are the looks deceiving? <laughs> um, it's definitely not easy. You know, you have to you have to work for every yard we get, and uh, you know I think um, you know we've put in the work thus far that it takes uh, to be a good offense. But we got to continue to do that. You know, we have a lot a long way to go uh, to achieving the goals that we've set for this offense, and uh, we know we have a lot of potential. And so uh, we're just looking forward to trying to fill our potential. Uh, can you talk about Will Lowry and how well he's done going from the scout team or on the field, just like I asked him, and does that motivate you guys at all when you see how hard and how much he wants it? Definitely. Uh, it says a lot about Will Lowry as a person and his character, uh, that he would come here and, uh, you know, have so much love for the game that he would even walk on. And, uh, you know, Will's a tremendous player as well as a tremendous person, uh, a good friend of mine. And, uh, you know, it's awesome to, to see him get a chance and, and really uh, contribute to our team, you know. and. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I just have a great, a tremendous amount of respect for the guy. How do you help guys like Warmack and Fluke prepare to play on the road? <clears throat> well, um, I think one thing you do, um, not necessarily for the road, but just for the SEC is, you know, you kind of help those guys with, with learn how to study film. Uh, you know, that's something that guys like Mike and Drew helped me learn. And uh, so I think it's something that you can, you can help younger guys with, just kind of uh, showing them how to break down film and, and learn how to uh, really get the most out of that. Uh, you know, to face your opponent. Are you guys sometimes a little more focused on the road? There's not the all the home hoopla, and it's just kind of you against everybody else. Well, we always say when we go on the road that it's a business trip, and uh, you know we try to have a business-like attitude and and uh, you know be really focused. And we know that when we go on the road, you know the only people we have is us. So uh, I think definitely, um, you know, it, it, it's a great feeling to know that. You know, the only only people you have on your side are the are the people around you. And obviously, you know, we have a few fans come, but um, you know, I think um, you know we try to be focused on every game we play. But I think uh, definitely on the road, it's a little easier just because you know we do have that business-like attitude. There are a lot of people will talk about the quarterback matchup this week. We've heard Brad <coughs> talk about how much he's developed over the past year. How about from your perspective? How much better is he now than he was a year ago? Uh, I think he's he's improved a ton, and uh, I think uh, it really shows in just how comfortable he's become in the offense, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, he just really feels so much more comfortable, <clears throat> has just a better awareness of, of the pocket and just kind of what's going on out there. And uh, I think definitely it, he's done a good job of get, getting the ball out of his hand a little faster this year, and, you know, obviously that makes it a little easier on us and uh, just making us look good. So I think uh, Greg's definitely improved a ton, and he's a great quarterback. Thanks, Bear.